Hey, speech class. All right, all right. Let's 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 start this part of the party. Let's get our outlines going. Let's 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 write our outlines for this speech. All right. And an outline is really a map of the main points. You know this from English nine. You know this from English ten. You know this, right? So I'm gonna go through a quick refresher. For my class, outlines are important roadmaps for writing the content of the speech, the script, if you will. We're going we're gonna to take the main points. We're going to make those Roman numerals, full sentences at the Roman numerals, like the first pack necessary to travel in the boundary waters is the personal pack, or the first step to baking good chocolate chip cookies is to gather the ingredients. Or whatever your main point, Roman numeral 1, 2, 3 are. Remember those? Yeah, we just did them. Okay, so that, that, that's that deal. You, you already have part of the outline. The main point, Roman numerals. That's where we're going to walk and talk at the same time. Whee! No, it'll be fun. It'll be, it'll be a hoot. It'll be a hoot and a holler. All right, all right. I want you to do a couple of things for me, please. I want you to take a look. I want you to download. I want you to print however, however you can get your paws on that sample outline that I posted in the Speech One folder. That's my first couple of pages, my first page of my outline. There's going to be four more pages that go along with that. Okay, listen. Your outline is several pages long. And, and, if it's on your outline, it should come out of your mouth on speech day. And if it comes out of your mouth on speech day, it should be on your outline. All right? There's going to be no rambling, no making stuff up. A, a good outline is what prevents a speech from going in circles. Okay? Like the kid that gives the speech about McDonald's doesn't write a great outline. And they say, one of the great reasons to eat at McDonald's is the food. Boy, I sure like their hamburgers. You know, their fries are okay, too. I'd like to dip my fries in a chocolate malt every once in a while instead of ketchup. The other day when I was going through the drive through I actually ordered a hamburger, and I unwrapped it, and it didn't have a top bun. I thought, oh, my God, this is crazy. No top bun. Oh, oh, you know what else I like about McDonald's? They're big parking lots, and they're clean bathrooms. Another thing I like to eat at McDonald's, okay, this speech is going in circles. This speech is confusing. What's he going to say next? Where is she going with this thing? A good outline prevents that, and I've always said this. Uh, uh, and don't and oh 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 don't tell don't tell my friends this. You know the Hadorfs and the Yakushas of the world. I love these people, but sometimes your English teachers way overcomplicate, overcomplicate outlining. All right, outlines are just piles of stuff that make sense. And the piles get smaller as you go through the outline. Or if you want to think about it this way, they get bigger as you go back towards that thesis statement. Okay? We'll look at this. Let's look at this. Okay? Roman number one, the giant main point. Okay? The first pack needed to travel in the boundary waters is the personal pack. Look what piles I've made. I've literally, like, dumped that pack out in my mind. Where? My mind map. My mind map. If you, if you want to write great outlines, write detailed, detailed, detailed mind maps. Serially. Okay? Because then you can just pick up everything off that mind map and put letters and numbers and Roman numerals by it. All right? It'll write itself, in other words. Look, I went to my mind map, and I looked and I thought, I'm going to write a speech about the boundary waters. I looked at my mind map further, my mind map further, and I, and I thought, I'm going to write a speech about the three packs needed to travel in the boundary waters. Then I got really, really detailed with the personal pack, and I dumped it out in my mind. My shirts fell out, 
My pants fell out. My footwear fell out. A book or three fell out. The towel, my, my, you know, uh, 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 my, my shampoo, my meds, that kind of stuff. A pocket knife. You gotta have a pocket knife, right? All right. Listen, outlines aren't that difficult. And don't let your English teachers overcomplicate this. I always talk to students and I say, if you can take all your clothes that you own, every single bit of clothing that you own, put it on top of your bed, and then start throwing it around your room, every bit of clothing, all the socks, all your underwear, all your pants, all your shirts, all your jackets, everything. And then you've got empty drawers and you've got empty shelves and you've got empty racks in your closet. If you can scoop everything up, if you can pick everything up off the floor after you and put it into nice piles inside those drawers, you're writing an outline. You are. You pull open drawer number one and it has all of your socks. On the left side are all the white socks, in the middle are all the black or dark colored socks, and on the right side, the, 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 the colored reds and blues and greens all organized. That, that's an outline. All you got to do is put letters and numbers around it. Second drawer is all your short sleeve shirts. Third drawer, all your long sleeve shirts. Fourth drawer, pants, that kind of thing. You know, you can write an outline. All right, campers, look at the sample outline. The notation. The sub points capital letters and they all line up going down the page don't forget that then the sub sub points you know again the 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 numerics one two three four and five okay the uh the 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 sub 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 points the small case letters small a small b small c etc Take a look at my sample outline, all right? I got it, again, from my mind map. And really, quite frankly, I know you understand this. We taught it to you in English 9. We taught it to you in English 10. You had to pass the MCAs by writing a, an essay that, you know, you, you, you scooped up an outline for, carved out an outline for. I'm just telling you, I believe you know how to do this. We've overcomplicated it. So now here's what I want you to do. I want you to take your Roman numerals, one, two, and three, and I, I want you to layer in under those the sub points, then layer in under the sub points the sub sub points, and then layer in under the sub sub points, I want your sub 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 points, if you go that far, if you go that deep. In my McDonald's speech, I might have a giant pile, giant pile. Roman number one, the first reason to eat at McDonald's is great food. Well, what are my sub points, capital A and capital B? Well, I don't know. Let's pile up all the food from McDonald's, every bit of food thrown up into the air, and now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pile it up in piles that make sense for me. I'm going to say breakfast food and lunch food. That's what I'm going to say. I'm, uh, under the breakfast food, then, what are the piles that make sense? Well, in my head, the breakfast foods with eggs and the breakfast foods without eggs and drinks. That's all I want to talk about. Under breakfast food with eggs, I'm going to make a couple of piles. The egg burrito and the egg McMuffin. Ooh, ooh, now we're, now we're hungry. No, I'm not. Hi. It's not rocket science. It's not. All right. Please, if you have any questions, if you have any questions, call me. Call me. You know, email me. Text me. Serially. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even joking with you. All right. Again, reference the student sample. Reference my sample that I posted on Schoology for my speech. All right? You can do this. Go, 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 go. Write your outlines. Go.
go. I'll, I'll tell you how to submit them. Right now, I want you to scratch them out. Rough drafts of outlines. Ready, go.